Hey y'all, my name is Leslie. If you don't know, now you know, and that's on period. Uh, welcome back to another weekend vlog. I decided to vlog this weekend because I'm going to a Legree class. I'm not gonna even lie, I didn't even know what Legree was until my friend told me that this is a harder version of Pilates. And I'm just like, I've never even did Pilates either. I just see everybody doing it on YouTube, on TikTok, and all that stuff. So I guess I'm just gonna jump right in. Like if I'm going straight to Legree, and if Legree's not that bad, then I know I can do Pilates. Just wanted to check in with y'all before I head out. I have about 10 minutes before I need to leave. Our class is at 9.15 in the morning, and me and my friend Rose are going. Y'all seen her on the channel before last year for her birthday when we went to Bacon Bitch. I am running off of 10 margaritas right now. Last night, I was gonna vlog for y'all last night, but I was like, nah, it's too much, too much. Last night, I decided to randomly have a wa basketball watch party for the Magic, Magic versus the 76ers, and they disappointed me. Let's, let's just not even go there. Let's not even talk about that. But yeah, the Magic lost. They've been losing, like, the last three games. Like, this is not the time to lose. Like, do y'all want to go to the playoffs or not? Like, get your head together. And now they got to play the Bucks. Anyways, so we, I decided to have, like, a watch party for basketball. Um, me, Ricky, my best friend, Nye, and her boyfriend, Carl, came over. Y'all, I learned how to play spades. Me and Babe learned how to play spades for the first time last night. And we ate them up. Yep, we ate them up. <laughs> I believe the first, like, I guess you win is the first person to get to 100, which is 10 books. Or whoever just has the most books. So I think the very first time we played, no no one got 10 straight books. But we still had the most books. It was like 70, 30. So I, we had 7 books, they had 3. So then we used to shuffle, shuffle, played another round. On the next round... We got three books first, making it 100 from the previous game. And then we just kept playing. And then we were like, oh, well, let's just see who got the most books. Child, we won. We won. We won three times, and they won twice. <laughs> Talking about beginner's luck. It's all right. It's all right to be a loser. <laughs> but it was fun. I like that game. I like spades. And I recently learned how to play tonk. Tonk. In spades so I'm good I'm glad we're I'm learning like to play these card games because it's better than to me it's a little bit better than just like charades and all these little app games I don't know it just stick with the regulars all you need is a deck of cards and you could play a thousand games with a deck of cards I also need to go to Sephora I need to make a return uh, that refined brow gel brow tint is is a no for me um I think Kyra uses it but her, her eyebrows are more thicker than mine. I don't have any eyebrow hair if I take this makeup off. And that brow tint was not, it wasn't doing anything for my eyebrows because I don't have any eyebrows. So that has to go back. And I think that's it. But I also want to pick up some other items. I wonder if I can use my 20% code in store. We are happy now. Hope you're happy now I wish I could bank you On us On us You can get none by by run baby by I can get the real love all your time
here for five more seconds until we're going into back to full range. Finding a comfortable position, lying down, or sitting up, whatever works best for you. I just want you to become more aware of the present moment. Bring your attention back to your breath. Get in where you fit in, but all right, y'all. Well, we're about to go because my camera's dying, and that's just okay. Look, people hit you up to, to review stuff on Amazon. Oh, I don't know. I'll ask you, um. They'll ask you sometimes for like a short video review or a. Um, this is a really bad angle. Let me back the seat up. Me and Rose tried Legree for the very first time. And like I told y'all before, I've never done Pilates, so I can't really compare the two. But Rose has done Pilates before, and she said Legree is way harder. So, do I feel like Legree is hard? Yes, it was hard. Not hard, but you actually really feel the burn. Biceps, triceps, quads, all of that. We were doing like lunges. I'm talking about my legs were shaking because you know, my muscles. Um, and then we did, we did the right leg, we did the left leg, we did core, we did both arms. And yeah, that's literally full body. So now I'm curious to see what Pilates is because if it's a little easier, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. I like a challenge though. I like a challenge. And they have Pilates at my gym. I just have to book a class when it's available. Anyways, so after class, we went to this place called Mango Fresh and they just opened too. So this whole plaza is like brand new. The plaza has been here for a year but they're just now building construction on the bottom level for like businesses. So the Legree place just opened like two weeks ago. The Mango Fresh just opened yesterday. And then there's another restaurant on the side called the Drake. And they opened probably a month ago. I've seen everybody on Yelp posting them. So definitely a vibe. I like being the first to try something. And I'm gonna leave them a review because it's actually really good. I got a strawberry banana smoothie and Rose got the detox juice and I tried it, it was really good. It had like ginger, pineapple, spinach. And I also got a turkey club sandwich because I have not eaten breakfast, I'm starving. And this sandwich is really good too. It's on like, I can't think of the name of the bread but it's like a French style French style bread. It's really hard, but that's fine. Mm, 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 mm. Hey y'all, so it's been like an hour and a half later and why I decided to take a nap? So now I'm rushing. I didn't get a chance to touch up my makeup so, cause your girl looks a little crazy. And I hate when I rush to events like this because I know they're gonna be taking pictures, but y'all, I was just so tired. Like, keep in mind, I'm running off of four hours of sleep from last night woke up worked out ate came home took a nap and i pressed the snooze button that's what really caused me to be like i'm like snooze 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 i was this close to canceling y'all because i'm just that tired but you know i said let's get up let's get out i need to drink more water stay hydrated and i think earlier i told y'all it was a podcast so koya does do a podcast but I reread the invite for today's event. She is going to be talking about the awareness of HIV and stuff. But while we're doing it, we're actually making lipsticks. So it's like a beauty bar where you can make your own lipstick, 
uh, lip gloss or your own foundation. So I'm really excited for that. It's a 30 minute drive to the event. So I'll probably add my lashes and my lip liner and stuff in the car. So when y'all see me in the next clip, y'all can be like, dang, who that is? Yeah, you can feel free to adjust the color. And then once we try it on, we can still make adjustments, you know. For everybody that's grabbing these lipsticks, don't use them for the next 45 minutes. They're still going to be cooling on the inside, so if you can use it, it'll break. I'm headed for nothing, no turn into something from then. Made it through poverty, on our minority, you know the story. Hop on the jet on my property and fly away. Fly, fly, fly away. Call me a present, yeah. Spread out the trenches, yeah, yeah. My niggas can't whip, yeah. Sorry if y'all are a little lopsided. I don't know where my handheld tripod is. And now that I'm thinking, like, when was the last time I used it? I know I used it recently. Where was I? It's in my back seat. That's where it was. Okay. Um, it's 824, y'all. I am exhausted. Y'all knew I was exhausted earlier, and I'm still exhausted now. Because I only took, what, like an hour nap earlier? And then I went to this event for Koya. We made our own beauty products. So I made a gloss. You could do a gloss, a lipstick, or a lip stain. So I did a lip gloss. And everything was sponsored for the event. I want to show y'all. Let's see. And with this with a, a lip liner, of course. But I like it though. Like it's not too red, but camera is giving burnt orange, but it's red. Okay, now I look crazy. I got a lip liner and like obviously ombre it in. It would look fire. Like, can you see it? It's like reddish brown. And the way that they tied the collab together, like with Top Test Treat, which is what Koya does, and the Beauty Lab. So in order to make a lipstick, a lip stain, or whatever, you need to start with a base. All additives, you have to add things to it, you know, to get the product. So they were saying like, what is your base when it comes to making sure that you're protected and you know, you're not catching like STIs and HIV. The event was super nice and it was just refreshing to be around women who are so transparent about just life because I always tell like my partners and stuff like I don't know why people don't talk about oh getting tested and let me see your results like if we can trust our partner to have sex with them and do all this stuff like why can't we have that discussion about hey when was the last time you got tested or hey let's go get tested because guess what y'all people who have been married 20 40 years still get cheated on and guess what someone cheats bring stuff back home to their wife or husband and you never know what that thing could be right it could be HIV it could be maybe something curable but that doesn't take away that you know it could have been something else so you know just stay stay protected stay safe and get tested regularly because you may not know you have something until you get tested right also something I learned today is 
one of the girls was saying she a lot of females say they have their annuals you know you get your annual visit but in your annual visit they don't actually test for everything unless you ask for it so like they don't test for hiv when you have your annual visit so us ladies we need to be making sure that we are asking for those tests as well Provided us with these they oh i gotta check my text my man on the way oh shit, he's here let me make this quick because he's outside so anyways they provided us with these at home kits and i told babe i was like let's take one and it's like it's weird it's not okay let me not say it's weird it's not weird but it's like how could you know if you have something if you never tested for it right so now it's like oh shit like i i'm pretty sure i don't right <laughs> but you won't know until you take the test so you know we're open we're like i told you i said let's get tested tonight he was like okay sure so we're gonna do it tonight i think you have to mail in like your swabs and stuff Oh, it says results in 20 minutes. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna vlog this for y'all, but because I don't even know how to work it my damn self. Oh, is it like a P test? I don't really know. Anyway, so got some of those. What else was I gonna tell y'all about? Oh, and then after the event, me and my friend Brooke decided to grab something to eat. So that's why we ended up staying until like 7:30, 8 o'clock because the event ended at five. But we went to this really nice restaurant. It had 4.5 stars on Google with over a thousand ratings, so you know that's a hit. Um, I got a burger and sweet potato fries because I've been craving sweet potato fries. Like, I don't know what it is. They're just so good. And I was like, well, I could do a burger with it. So that's what I got. The burger was all right, but sweet and the sweet potatoes were all right. But it was good, though. I had that purple drink. That was really good. I could have did two of those, but I was so full and tired. Anyways, y'all. I keep saying anyways, but I keep talking. So I actually was gonna get ready to take a nap, but my man said he's just gonna come grab me now while he's on this side of town and then I could just take a nap at his place. But is that gonna happen? Probably not, like now I'm up. Now I'm up. Now I'm joking, I'm definitely gonna sleep early. Either I take a nap now and stay up late or if I stay up, I'm gonna go to sleep at like 10 o'clock, which is two hours from now. Anyways, y'all, I'm just trying to make sure I've said everything that I needed to say because I'm probably not going to talk to y'all again until tomorrow because I don't even know. We're just going to be chilling tonight, watching a movie or something. Uh, yeah, so I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm about to head to Sephora, y'all, because one, it's a Sephora sale, and I actually want to go in store and try on some of these products before I place my second order. I told y'all this for five brow gel pomade, whatever y'all want to call it, brow tint, brow gel, it's all the same thing. It does not work for me, so let me show y'all, right? These are my brows. I think it may have a little bit of product on my brows, but for the most part, there's nothing there. So this is what it looks like, right? Let's see, like, what is girl? Ain't shit, like, uh-uh. I don't even see a difference. And the thing is what? But, like, I, like, what? This ain't, this is not gonna work for me. I'm sorry, it's not worth $24. This is not giving worth $24. Like, I'm gonna stick to my brow tint at the beauty salon. And they give you a waxing tint for $15. And... I'm going to do a Sephora haul, like, once my package comes. But I purchased this, the D Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin, in the color 7. But I don't want to open it yet because I'm about to go to the store. So if I open it and I try it on and it's not the right shade, I'm going to feel bad, even though Sephora is a million dollar company. I'm going to feel bad that I'm going to have to exchange it and they're going to have to put it in, like, the discard bin. And they're going to have to trash it in the dumpster. Because that was just a waste, you know? Like, I'm going to go to the store i'm gonna try shade seven on their testers if it matches then i'm gonna keep it if not then i will have this on me to return it and exchange it for a different shade yeah i got those two things i need to do and i'm gonna pick up some more beauty items and i will show y'all when i get there or when i get back home going with no makeup i'm also looking for a new moisturizer i've been using a neutrogena water gel I mean it feels good when you put it on but like i don't know i like the dewy look like my skin still feels a little 
dry. Since I'm rambling, I'm about to go just like this because I'm gonna be trying on makeup and stuff, trying on lippies, all the tea, all the tea. And I'm gonna bring y'all with me, so let's go. You drive me crazy, shorty. I need to see you and feel you next to me. I provide everything you need, and I like your smile. I don't want to see you cry. Got some questions that I gotta ask, and I hope you can come up with the answers, baby. so i just made it back home from sephora like two hours later i don't know well you know what it's the driving that took so long because you got like 20 minutes there and then 20 minutes back so i spent like an hour there which is not bad so i actually went in store to just try out the products before placing my online order but they said that i could use the 20 percent off in store and then obviously any sephora products would have the additional 10 percent so I was like, okay, big purr. So I was able to get all the products same day, which is really, really nice. But before I get into like the good stuff of the haul, I watched the Magic game today. Y'all, the Magic are going to the playoffs. Like, that's exciting. I don't know if y'all know, like, I like watching sports. I'm not like a sports fan. I don't have like favorite players or favorite team. I mean, I root for the Magic because I'm born and raised here and that's my home team, duh. But for you to be like, oh, who's your favorite team? Why are they your favorite team? Who's your favorite player? Like, don't ask. Anyway, so y'all gonna get a little sneak peek of my Sephora sale haul because, yeah. I'm gonna do a separate video, but obviously, like, my makeup's gonna be done. So if you're a makeup girly or you wanna be, like, becoming to makeup, like me, I'm slowly getting into things, then you can watch this section. I'm not going to talk much about the product because I, I dang sure don't even know myself. Most of the products I got are travels or minis because this is my first time trying the products. I literally was on TikTok morning and night trying to figure out what the girlies recommended and stuff. Oh, and before I get into the haul. So remember I was telling y'all about that yummy foundation balm? So I tried it on and as you can see it's very, very translucent. It's like a skin tint. I don't know if it was worth it for me. I don't know. I got to sleep on it. I did return it because I tried it on in store. I tried number seven and I tried number nine. Number nine was much warmer. Number seven was much cooler. The Sephora makeup artist, she recommended number seven because it just matched with my neck and everything's like lighter down here. Anyway, so I grabbed these two products from the Sephora cell. This is the one size setting spray and this is the Charlotte Tillsbury setting spray. They say both of these and your makeup won't go nowhere. So I was looking up like products to use so your makeup be can become non-transferable. And everybody was saying that you need to set your makeup with a good powder and a good setting spray. So bye bye Morphe. Trying these for now. I got two lip stains. Y'all can see this one is like a lighter pink and this one is a brown. I tried the lighter pink and baby this was the in truth. Y'all know when I say it's the truth, that's when you know it's tea for real. And these were $7. They have so many shades, but I'm a neutral girly. So this one, like I said, is like a lighter pink. And this one is like a brown. Super pretty. It's a lip stain, so it dries matte, but you can put a gloss on it. Period. And I do love the NYX Butter Gloss, but it's a tinted gloss. This is more like matte, so similar to like a lipstick, and then you're putting a gloss on top of it, so it's more pigmented. Also got Marc Jacobs Perfect Roller Ball. I prefer the um, Travel Sprays. I didn't realize it was a roller ball, but yeah, I got this because I just like to throw these in my purse when I go out downtown or whatever, and I'm going on a yacht in Miami, so this will be in the bag. I also got two new setting sprays. So I currently use... Look, even this is a mini, but y'all, I've had this for like five months. I swear, I do my makeup, but I don't do it enough to where like my product goes bad. Yeah, I still got a lot of this. So this is like a translucent powder. And these are setting powders. I just learned a difference today, y'all. I'm learning as I go. 
So basically translucent, you hear what it means, translucent, it's like clear, see-through. You can put this over anything cream on your face and it's just gonna mattify the cream. So that means you can use this all over your face very lightly, but a setting powder is pigmented. So whatever color your setting powder is that you get, that's the color you're gonna see mainly on wherever you put it. For me, it's gonna be the under eye. So I got two different ones and shout out to Rose. Make sure y'all check out her channel and subscribe to my girl because she is all things beauty. Not her channel is all things beauty, but she knows all things beauty. It's a lot of beauty stuff. So make sure y'all watch her videos because she be putting me on game. I mean, she puts me on the juices. She's like very into like wellness, laser, IV drips. Like she knows it all. Like I trust that girl with my life for real so she pretty much recommended all these products to me she recommended the charlotte tilbury uh finishing powder i hope i got the right shade i seen it in the checkout and i was like oh that's what uh rose was telling me so i just got the color tan because everything i get is normally tan deep or whatever and then this one is huda beauty in the shade kunafa kun k-u-n-a-f-a Kunafa, Kunfa. I don't know. Anyways, so this has a golden undertone. I'm very nervous about this because I do feel like my face is cooler, but I love when I see girls with this golden look under their eyes, especially like when I go to the club. So I got a mini in this and I got a mini in this. I'm trying to these things out, y'all. I'm trying them out. So we're gonna see what sticks and then obviously we'll get the bigger one i got Too faced concealer in this shade cookie i had Too faced concealer before and it's a fave it lasted me so long because i think it's uh more ounces than this this is what i've been using um this is the tarte concealer in the shade 45s tan deep sand so i swapped both of these in the store and these two match as far as the swatches so back to a Too Faced girly I like Tarte but I don't know I just feel like it like be drying up and I don't know maybe let's see does it show me the ounces does it say 0 0.22 ounces and this is 0 0.45 ounces so yeah you get way more product than this like I just brought this and I feel like it's empty so the next product is the Sephora lip plumping gloss now this plumping gloss it's not too extreme so this is in the shade seven it looks pigmented but it's not it's literally dang near like clear gloss it reminds me of the nyx butter gloss but just plumping and this was like seven dollars i have two more products to show y'all and they are skincare products so i've been wanting to try this for a while this is the doc dr dennis gross peeling daily peel pads now they have a red one and a blue one this is for extra strength why did i get extra strength because i don't know i really feel like i don't have textured skin but i get influenced and i want to try these products so i hope i don't end up damaging my skin but i feel like it doesn't hurt to try right i wanted to try them so i got them while they was on sale and then this i also see a lot of people use this i see a lot of men use this when i watch like um men's self-care videos and stuff so this is the Polish Choice Exfoliant. It's a liquid ex exfoliant, which I've been liking versus like an exfoliating scrub. I prefer like a liquid ex exfoliant. It says unclog and strengths in large pores, smooths and even skin tone, lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. So this is like almost similar to a toner. Dab it on, goes into your skin. So I'll be trying both of these, not at the same time. So yeah, that is everything that I've got so far because I am gonna place one order online. But the only thing I'm gonna purchase online is just the um, Tatcha Dewy Cream, y'all. I'm so late. Everybody's been talking about this product, but I went in the store and I rubbed it on my arm that's another one that's the truth that is the truth and i tried the purple one which is apparently for dry skin and then the blue one which is for oily i went with the purple one i'd rather more moisture than medium moisture so 
they didn't have the mini ones in stock because I did recently just purchase the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And someone on TikTok actually said the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel is actually a dupe for the Tatcha. So I'm like, okay, well then I just got two. Basically, I got the dupe and the real thing. But nah, the Tatcha is definitely where it's at. It is way more expensive. But since I just purchased the Neutrogena one, so I have the big one of that and I have the small one. I keep the small ones at Babe's house because that's when I don't be doing my skincare for real. But I keep the travel size at his house and then a big one here. So that's what I'm going to do online. They didn't have the, the mini one. So I'm going to purchase the big one for here at my house. And then they have the dewy cleanse and the hydrating duo for just six dollars more rose put me onto that show like i just said that one's gonna stay at babe's house because i don't have a, a small cleanser at his house so yeah i'm gonna have my cleanser and my moisturizer at babe's house i don't really need to tone and exfoliate and do all that extra shit over there but for at my house i got the full kit i am just chilling right now I'm actually about to submit this payment for a yacht, y'all. Me and the girls are going to Miami for Memorial Day and we're doing an all-girl yacht. So I'm super excited. Um, I'll give y'all more information when I actually drop that vlog, which is going to be a month from now. Memorial Day is May 28th, which is Monday, but we're going to go on Saturday because Memorial Day weekend, duh. But yeah, so I'm actually going to submit that payment now. We're booking it a month out because why wait last minute you know i'd rather be prepared than underprepared i'm debating if i want to cook dinner tonight y'all i don't think so it's giving chipotle you know what y'all and i was just telling my friend rose or not i can't remember i talked so much i said there's no issue with people not cooking but if you're not gonna cook just don't eat fast food or eat processed food because processed food is the food that has preservatives it's the food that takes longer to digest and that's what's going to make you big and you know like me like i'm getting bigger <laughs> so it's like if you're going to eat out or you don't feel like cooking just eat somewhere that has fresh ingredients some a place that's actually seasoning their meat fresh daily cook cooking it and cutting it up so that's why i eat chipotle a lot i don't know if y'all probably noticed because i only record on the weekends but i eat chipotle a lot and you know why because all of their ingredients are fresh they their chicken their steak their lettuce they literally prep i seen a tick and it's made fresh daily i know when y'all go in chipotle line y'all see them in the back cooking that's fresh ingredients so yeah if i don't get chipotle i'm just gonna order takeout from a restaurant Instead of like McDonald's, Zaxby's, Burger King, stuff like that. Because I just don't feel like cooking, but I still want to eat healthy, eat fresh, eat clean. So, anyways, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm not really doing much today. Babe gets off in 30 minutes, but I I want to give him time to himself. I don't like, oh, babe, you just got off. Like, oh, let me come over right now. Like, no, get off of work, go home, take a shower sit in your bed relax watch tv watch youtube get on your phone before i just be all up in your face because we're gonna watch bmf tonight but i low-key want him to come here but he has a fire stick and i don't know how easy that is to take out your tv and plug it up yeah that sounds like a lot of work so i'll probably just end up going to his house which is fine so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because now i'm just chatting and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another weekend vlog i will probably see y'all towards the end of the month april 27th i'm having like a little pool party with my friends so i'm probably gonna vlog that for y'all and i don't really have anything else coming up so y'all gonna see some like sit down videos all right y'all i love y'all and thank y'all so much for tuning in